Kitty cat. Hey there. Kitty. Hi. Oh, look at you. Oh my gosh, you are so photogenic. <laughs> my love, you are beautiful. <clears throat> so, Claudio is on the phone with his daughter Denali. He'll probably be done any minute now. More or less. Let's see if we can see the new TV. Yep, there's the new TV. Boy, this room has gotten too messy. I have culpability in that. Uh, it's on the screensaver thing. Xylitol. Claude is wearing red silk pajamas now because they help him get in and out of bed more easily. The, sl the silk slides and he's been struggling to get in and out of bed at night, which is really heartbreaking. Kitty cat. And you, Kitty, you're having a near-death experience, aren't you? You're skin and bones. You're so skinny. And you love it when I pet you until suddenly you get really mad at me, and then you scream at me. Oh, God, she is so pretty. But she's looking kind of unhappy now. Sometimes you're happy, sweetie, when I lie with you for an hour or so. 30 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour. And, uh, and we do the snuggy thing because you're still a nursling. She still nurses after all this time. This is my idea of a very nice teacup. But, oh, it's kind of dirty. Look at that. That's not so great. There. <laughs> I'm very particular about my teacups. This is a book of... Um, this is a reader from JFK, organized by my therapist, who I haven't seen in over a year now, Doug Moorhead. And I had this zany idea that Claude and I would watch Remington Steel, which it turns out he doesn't like at all, and um, Alias together. That's how far afield I went in trying to figure out something that would provide romantic comedy for me, and maybe just romance without comedy, and action, action, action for him. This is about a book about William Blake that my mom gave me. <clears throat> For Claudio right now, an action movie, I think, uh, stimulates kind of um, adrenaline and stuff and has a feeling of like an antidote to what, it's, what it feels like to be suffering Parkinson's disease. This is a really useless um, mitt holder. Not useless, but it's much less useful than the one we have. I just picked it up off the street in a free box because it's Got all this pretty stuff. Sequins. Kitty, do you see the sequins? Oh, do you see the little hanging thing? Look at that, kitty. Oh, yeah, see? Well, you are just not a very happy camper today, are you, honey? You're not your usual sparkling self. Okay, well, maybe that's it for today because I am looking too funky to be showing myself. That fingernail needs to be cut. That one's kind of dirty. Even my hands are an embarrassment. Although my hands are one of my best features. This one, this hand is less embarrassing. <laughs> <coughs> am I over my cold or am I not over my cold? How many households in America still have these? They made a whole new company now, DVD. Dot com. When you go to the website, it just says dvd.com. It's like a different company. It's its own company now. Dolce. La dolce vita. Il dolce vita. La dolce vita. Classic Italian biscotti. Okay. Those are things over there that are quite significant, actually, but I'm not in a position to unpack it right now. Oh, there's a painting of mine. Okay. One of them has fallen behind the couch, unfortunately. Sorry, sorry, Kitty. That was kind of cruel. I, that was thoughtless of me. I wasn't even really aware of what I was doing. Too bad, because these two Modigliani-inspired paintings are quite important to me. This is the prettier one, but uh, the other one's perhaps more edgy. Uh, the other one is the woman is black-haired, more like the original painting. I love that. I, I did this painting shortly after graduating from high school. I'm glad I survived, unlike all the sculpture that I made that got lost. 
amazing how that got lost. Okay, I think that's, well, and that's a very nice, there's just some very nice things. That's nice. I used to be a very romantic icon for Claude and I. He had it as the um, screensaver on his phone, the home, home on his phone. And this is something I bought, Flaming Dawn. That came home with us from Japan. Uh, Etc. Uh, yeah. Some significant newspapers. Obama sets out dream for nation. Obama and Bush. An old plate. This is something my dad found when he was a garbage man for City of Berkeley. And this is something that he gave me at the same time. He found both of these in the garbage when he was a garbage man for the city of Berkeley. So there's my book on, oh, that's, this is one of the, this is one of the first, uh, first time earning money with my writing, selling two poems to artillery. And there's my book on Jung and Thoreau. This is my bookshelf with my oldest stuff. So like Anais Nin, Henry and June. And then there's some new books wedged in there. That Lush Life is very new. A lot of these books are actually books that I read in high school. And the, the actual versions that I read in high school. Wuthering Heights. The book Men is my friend Leo. Gave it to me when I was in college. I guess I must have been a late sophomore or junior by then. I used to know this woman, Sue Bender. She always takes on more friends than she can handle. And she couldn't handle being friends with me after a while. Strangely enough, my therapist Doug knows her and says that's just the way she is. Uh, that is the actual copy of The Feast of All Saints that I first read. Uh, the Vampire Lestat, that's a replacement copy. Okie dokie, artichokey. Oh, here's something kind of interesting. This used to be our foster child or whatever. Um, and her name was Wenny, W-E-N-I. And we actually had to be switched to another foster child because her area got swept up into war. Uh, became too war-torn. She was in Indonesia. Religious war was what we were told. Imagine that. These are things I picked out to, um, you know, have some kind of decor. Just both a happy and an unhappy memory. Um, there are happy and unhappy memories attached to that. Isn't you a great painter? Totally fucking great. I wouldn't know how to paint something like that now if my life depended on it. Or make a sculpture or a drawing. But when I was 18, I could. Um, yep. Too much mess. I blame myself. Hmm. That's all.